Hey guys, it's your boy Fiscon here, and today we're going to discuss the how, when, and why you should delete your user folder in Star Citizen. We'll start with the tutorial showing you how to do so for those of you in a rush and then move on to a general explanation of when you would need to delete your user folder. If you guys have something you'd like me to cover in the future regarding Star Citizen, hit me up in the comments below. All right, jumping right into it. How do we delete our user folder? Well, step one is to locate your install directory for Star Citizen. In my case, it's under program files. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my file explorer. And then I'm going to go find this PC, locate my local disk, and then program files. And then from there, Robert Space Industries. Inside of that, we're going to look for Star Citizen. There's going to be a few other options in here, but the main one we're looking for is Star Citizen. You can annoy that. You can ignore that, excuse me. And then you got live or PTU. So just pick the one you're working with, in this case live, and then right click and delete your user folder and you're done. All right, before I list my own example, I'm gonna talk about something. Regardless of what you take away in this video, I want you to at least leave with this piece of knowledge. So listen closely. You should conduct troubleshooting in the following order. First, attempt to use any known workarounds for your issue, and then secondly, if none work, go ahead and delete your user folder and sign back in. If this has failed, check out my video on how to conduct a character reset. It's detailed. Nice. Now with that out of the way, the example I want to hit on is one that has actually occurred to me. Recently, I was trying to mine with the rock to get that juicy AUEC, but unfortunately, whenever I entered the atmosphere, I could not lift off the ground again. If I flew below 5,000 meters, my ship would begin to plummet. If I was not boosting out of the atmosphere, I was falling. I had a friend take the helm, and he flew like he had no problems at all. Like, honestly, it was embarrassing. And after that, I did some research and found claims that when you are having flight control issues, you should delete your user folder, and I did exactly that. And now I can fly in atmosphere like it's not a problem. I'm kind of annoyed. So, it is stated that this could have been caused by lingering control profiles that had changed since as early as 3.10. Due to this, I was unable to fly right, but had I deleted my user folder in between patches, this would never have been an issue for me. Other times are when you receive a specific error message such as a 20k or perhaps a player profile error, but the majority of times you'll need to delete your user profiles when you run into issues involving graphics. Alright guys, for those of you who made it to the end, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, for those of you who wish to grow on YouTube, I'm affiliated with TubeBuddy. So if you follow the link below and install TubeBuddy, you can help me out and help yourself out for free. Catch you guys in the next one.